Hello, my name is Josue Flores, and today I'm going to talk to you about why the Second Amendment is so important. And if, uh, for the people who don't know, the Second Amendment is the right to bear arms. The right to bear arms means that whatever you can carry on your body is legally allowed by the federal government. Uh, I mean, some people can buy tanks and uh, other, like, motorized military vehicles in other states, but technically under the actual Second Amendment, that's illegal. But um, the Second Amendment is important because we should be able to protect ourselves. And a great example would be Ukraine. Uh, first off, Ukraine is in the middle of a huge war with Russia and uh, has been for about two months already. Um, the Second Amendment in our country allows us to be protected and uh, prepared for moments like Ukraine if we ever get invaded. Uh, many of us do not like guns, and I understand that. It could be from uh, experience or because one of our family members was killed by a firearm. But uh, they are a necessity in this country. Ukraine had to scam scramble and spend thousands of dollars to get their citizens weapons. And most of the citizens that were actually fighting were men. And uh, they were also in their late 40s. Um, I believe we should fully support the Second Amendment. Uh, I, should, I also believe that some people shouldn't have firearms simply because uh, they could be a danger to the community. And uh, why Ukraine is such an, a great example for the Second Amendment. Um, we should fully support the Second Amendment. Uh, there aren't enough police officers to protect us at all times of the day. A house just around the corner from mine was uh, robbed last week, and if it would have been my house, I would have liked to have some type of firearm or some type of weapon in my house to protect me and my family. Uh, major cities like Chicago and Los Angeles, there's always robberies and assault with a firearm. And in the hands of a well-trained individual, a firearm could potentially save your life or honestly save another. Um, even, even though firearms are a necessity, I believe that some people shouldn't have them. Uh, the mentally ill and criminals should not have weapons. Criminals are in jail for many things, and it could also be for gun charges. And they could, they could, all, they could be let out, and if they do have... Uh, access to a firearm they could potentially hurt somebody especially a judge or maybe a, a witness that put them in jail and uh, a mentally ill person could possibly kill themselves or someone else if they have an episode which could be severely dangerous to the community because you wouldn't want somebody who's mentally ill with a gun rampant around in the in your neighborhood um, I would classify somebody mentally ill if they've been uh, committed into a mental hospital two times and uh, for my final point, Ukraine has had to scramble for weapons, but if they did have a Second Amendment like ours, they would have been properly armed and their citizens wouldn't have had to uh, scramble to find guns and to actually make their own guns because I've heard that some people are making, um, they're basically modernizing their weapons in a car mechanic shop. But uh, if they were armed long before the Russian invasion, I believe that uh, to be honest, the people would have been well more prepared and they would have actually known how to use the guns and they wouldn't have been trained in just a week or two learn how to use one. Uh, if they had firearms, uh, the government wouldn't have had to spend thousands of dollars on firearms for the public and they could have honestly used that money for more fighter planes or maybe even tanks to be, uh, I guess, a bit well more prepared. Um, in conclusion, the Second Amendment... Uh, we have should be fully supported because Ukraine had to scrap whatever they had and whatever money they had, basically whatever money they had in the bank, I guess, to come together and buy weapons for the people so they could protect themselves. And, ev and even then, it wasn't enough because they've had thousands of civilian deaths and uh, there's been cities basically bombarded and destroyed by the R Russian government or the Russian military. Um, not all people should have a gun, especially domestic abusers. They could honestly, uh, kill their spouse if they do end up having a firearm in their possession and mentally ill because they could kill themselves or somebody else in a mental episode. And, uh, also criminals because if criminals get out and they do have access to a firearm that could potentially put anybody in the community in danger that they're at. Um, the second amendment is a great amendment and I feel that uh, you as an American should support it and also as a patriot because honestly I want to be protected in my home and if I don't have the ability to do so I'm gonna feel basically weaker because 
I know that a police officer isn't going to be there to protect me at all times of the day. And I want to make sure that when I have my own home and I have my own family, I want to be able to protect them. Thank you.